Hi, I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and I'm here to bring you some wisdom for your photography business. Today, I'm going to talk about dealing with the mythical Uncle Bob. So here's what you'll learn in this video. First of all, how to deal with all those other photographers at the wedding, um, often called Uncle Bob, because they <laughs> are often uh, someone's uncle or friend who is coming along and they're going to take all the pictures that you're taking at the same time. And you'll also learn in this video what to worry about and what you can let go of and not worry about at all. So first of all, <laughs> has this ever happened to you? Uh, here is Uncle Bob. He has a fancy um, SLR camera and um, he wants to get right in your way and take all the pictures that you're taking. <laughs> and sometimes that's fine. It's no big deal. And other times, um, Uncle Bob might want to jump in front of you when the couple is walking down the aisle or use a flash that is interfering with yours. And then it becomes a little bit more of a problem. So here's why these other second photographers, third photographers, fourth photographers, <laughs> multitude of photographers can be a problem. First of all, you could miss a shot. Um, if they get in the way or they distract you or you know if if they cause a problem where you miss a shot that can be a serious problem for you also um, again if they are using an extra flash or um, have some really bright um, red eye reduction flash it can kind of mess up your lighting in your shots um, and that can be a problem so what can you do about it? First of all, and this is going to sound a little bit aggressive, but I don't mean it in an aggressive way at all, but you can just block them. <laughs> Basically, let's say the most common time that this becomes a problem for me is at the cake cutting, right? Everyone wants a picture of the cake cutting, but the fact is, is that you have been paid to get a professional quality picture of the bride and groom cutting their cake. So um, what I do is I make sure that I'm in the best spot and if that means I'm standing right in front of someone else, well they can move to the side. Um, again, the couple has paid you to do their job. And if anyone um, doesn't want to move, you can just in the nicest, most polite way possible just say, oh excuse me, um, it's really important that I get this picture for them um, and this is the best place for me to stand. Do you mind? And they're and inevitably they will move. So as long as you're nice and polite about it and you just stand where you need to stand, you will be fine. You can also ask people um, not to pop out into the aisle when the bride and groom have their kiss at the end of the ceremony. Um, if you see that someone's about to do that, you can ask them just before the kiss and make sure that you still get your shot. But there are times that you do not need to worry about anything. So oftentimes, um, you know, people with nice cameras or people that are interested in photography will take a lot of the same shots that you're taking throughout the day, or they'll even want to kind of follow you along with you as you do your work. But that, in most 99% of situations, you do not need to worry about it. And you just need to tell yourself that you're there to do your job and most likely your pictures are going to be much better than theirs. So you don't need to worry about them upstaging you and as long as you use the techniques I told you about you don't need to worry about them getting in your way. So just let the Uncle Bob's of the world be something that you can giggle to yourself about and um, or make a little joke afterwards with your assistant and don't stress yourself out about it too much. So I hope that was helpful and amusing. If you would like more free tips and training your, for your photography business, you can always visit photobiz-secrets.com. And um, I look forward to speaking to you again soon and hearing about your successes in your photography business. Thanks. Bye.